Hey, what's up, guys? Zach here. Um, I tried to do this video the other day, but freaking iMovie shut down and it delayed the video, so I had to wait for my next workout to make it again. But here it is, and um, it's something that I've been trying for like a, a while. I've been trying it with milk, and uh, my last workout, I, I did it solely with this. And it's rather than using milk in your protein shakes, I use liquid egg whites. Um, I know a lot of you are probably going to think it's gross, disgusting, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it has salmonella. No, it doesn't. It actually doesn't because they're pasteurized, as you can see right here. They're pasteurized egg whites, which means that they've been processed and stuff so that it's all removed and there's nothing you know harmful to your body in there at all. And by the way, salmonella grows within the yolk, not the egg whites itself. So a little tidbit right there. Um, I've been getting, I've gotten a lot of questions in the past about um, what's best to use with your protein shakes post workout, um, whether if you're cutting or you're bulking or you're just you know maintaining muscle, whether you should use water, fat free milk, one percent, two percent, whole whole milk, um, you know whatever it is. And I've used most of them. I don't really drink whole milk that much, um, but I don't really like water either because it just it gives it a, like a bad taste. I don't, I don't really like it. Normally I use fat free milk, and uh, because obviously there's zero fat. Yeah, there's more carbohydrates, but. I mean, it's complex carbohydrates anyway. It's not like you're getting sugary stuff in there. So it's all good. But I've been trying the liquid egg whites, and I feel that it's it makes it more of like if you're using chocolate protein, that's what I use. I just like chocolate. But if you're using, say, chocolate protein, it gives it a much thicker um, consistency, but it's not like chunky, like if you didn't put enough in. It's, it's kind of hard, but it's more of like a creamy. It's more creamy than like, and thick but it's it tastes really good basically is what I'm trying to say because the liquid egg whites really don't have a taste at all so and let me just run over the fact sheet with you for the nutrition stuff and the egg whites uh, serving size here says three tablespoons you get 25 calories zero grams of fat uh, no saturated fat no trans fat no cholesterol 75 milligrams of sodium and 75 milligrams of potassium if you know anything about sodium potassium sodium helps um, hold water in your body. Potassium is used to help drain water from your body. So 75 milligrams of each kind of cancel each other out. Zero grams of carbohydrates, zero grams of fiber, zero grams of sugar, and five grams of protein. So uh, I like this because, you know, just doing the research and knowing about protein in general, um, a big thing is that you see all different kinds of proteins a lot of people stress having different kinds of protein in them because they break down at different times, that sort of thing. And in the past, I've, I've mixed the egg whites with fat-free milk and the protein. The protein I'm using right now is Optum Nutrition's Platinum Hydro Whey, um, Hydro Builder, which is um, it's a hydro it's a hydro whey, which means that it's been filtered once and twice, I believe three times because it's higher than the isolate because it's been filtered an extra time to get out just all the other impurities and stuff. So it's basically just pure whey protein, the purest form that you can get. And the difference between the hydro builder and the, um, the hydro whey, I'm sorry, blinked out for a sec, is the fact that there is more carbohydrates in this. Um, just going over the nutrition facts, whatever, protein blenders, Korea prep in there, Korea pep, um, enriched protein blend, um, those whey protein isolate, um, a little bit of casein, hydro, hydrolyzed whey protein, um, just a bunch of different kinds of protein in here, and there's creatine in it, which makes it different from just the normal creatine, I mean just the normal um, hydro whey protein. So you have that, and then I was adding in, if you add in milk on top of that, then you're getting, you know, a different kind of protein as well coming from the milk which breaks down to different consistencies and different rates and that sort of stuff. And then when you add the egg whites, you're adding even more of a protein blend to the mixture. And that's going to break down at different times and, you know, all that sort of stuff that goes along with that. So I found that that was really working well for me. And I ran out of milk. I leave school tomorrow to go back to Florida, go home for winter break. And I only have liquid egg whites left. So I figure I'd make the video and just show you guys that you can, as a good substitute, especially if you're just trying to... Um, I, I think this is really helpful if you're someone who's trying to cut weight because it doesn't taste, it doesn't have that crappy taste like if you drink it with water. Um, there's no carbohydrates, like if, even if you use fat-free milk. Um, and you're still getting protein, which is going to help build your muscles and keep 
not build, not necessarily help you build more muscle if you're cutting, but it's going to help you maintain muscle better if you're cutting, so that you lose less muscle in your cutting. So just dump this in about just about 12, 12 ounces right now. There's a little bit more in here. Screw it. It looks kind of gross, I'm not going to lie. It's about, man, I wish you could see it, close to 18. I know it looks kind of gross. It looks kind of like pee a little bit, but you block out the shadow. It looks a little like pee, but it doesn't have a taste at all. Trust me, look. It, it's basically totally tasteless. So you don't need to worry about that. And then I put in one scoop of my Hydro Builder Whey Protein. There we go, one big scoop. I'll give you guys a full review on the Hydro Builder once I uh, actually finish using it. I don't really like to give reviews on stuff I haven't tried or stuff I have I haven't finished trying, but so far so good as far the as far as the uh, hydro builder goes. I like it so far, but I'll give you guys a full review on it. Obviously, when I finish it, and uh, we're about good to go now. I just finished working out, by the way, as you can see. I'm so I have all my stuff on. I haven't showered yet. I smell like crap. Is actually awesome too because the cap doesn't come off. That's happened to me before when I shake it really hard. Right, I think we should be good to go. Let's taste this out. Mm. <laughs> it's actually just how I said it was supposed to be. It's like it's nice and creamy. And I still get the full chocolate taste without, it's not like being diluted by the egg whites. It tastes like really chocolatey, but it's, it's creamy. It kind of tastes like, if you've ever had like melted ice cream, like at the end of the jug, like when it, like if you put it in the refrigerator by accident or instead of the freezer or something, you leave it out too long, it gets melted, then you like, you take it in and it's like really like rich and creamy. That's kind of what this is, but it's not as creamy. But it's really good. So yeah, if you're cutting, definitely try this out. If you're not um, and you want to try it out, you can mix milk with the egg whites. I think it's just a good thing to, to do in general. I'm going to keep doing it. I like it. I'll see how the um, results are as far as, you know, regaining, you know, strength and energy and all that sort of stuff. And I'll keep you guys updated with it here and there if I find something new with it. But just want to drop this video because I like it and I think it works for me. And uh, hopefully it will work for you guys too. Hopefully you guys will like this video and my other ones. Um, please check out the new Facebook page. Just um, search on Facebook ZigFit. I know like everybody's on Facebook. Just go on and like it. Um, all my videos are being posted there too. So if you don't go on YouTube that much but you want to follow the channel, you can just stay um, updated with Facebook. All the new videos that I add automatically get synced on Facebook on the page and on my wall. So you can friend request me, Zach Sigenthaler. Um, I'll accept your friend because I don't really deny anyone unless of, like they're sketchy and they like tag me in all those stupid pictures of shoes and stuff. Other than that, I'll probably add you. And uh, <laughs> uh, hopefully you guys have a good day and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.